Hello everyone. Today I am going to give a lecture on transformer. So what is transformer? Transformer is a static device which transforms electric power from one circuit to the another circuit to the based on the mutual inductance. So what do you mean by mutual inductance? Like uh, there is no physical connection between two circuits but the power will be transferred from one circuit to other circuit with the help of mutual inductance. But there is no changes in the frequency, but there will be a changes in the voltage, either from the high voltage to the low voltage or low voltage to the high voltage takes place in the transformer. So let us see what is that, what, what, what do you mean by transformer? It transfers electric power from one circuit to another circuit. It does so without any changes of frequency. It accomplishes this by electromagnetic induction and where the two electric circuits are in mutually mutual inductive influence of each other. So it is an AC device. Transformer is an AC device which transfers the electric energy, electric power from one circuit to the another circuit. We say uh, it is a primary circuit to the secondary circuit without any changes in the frequency. So why the transformers are used? Where it is used? So transformer, you might have seen in the uh, supply, electric supply, the, um, like uh, to transfer the power or to distribute the power from transformer to the uh, houses. So here there are different applications. In few application, like uh, in the distribution system, the power it is in the uh, form of 11 kV or uh, in the kV voltage will be dropped into the 230 volt for the domestic purposes. In that case, uh, like we want less output voltage at the secondary side or output to side. So that will be uh, what type of transformers are used for uh, decrease the voltage? It is a step down transformer. What is step up? In some application, you want to increase the voltage at the output side, at the low side. Then we have to increase the voltage from primary to the secondary side. So, in that case, it is called as a step up transformer. So, there are two types of transformer step down and step up transformer. But the working principle based on the mutual inductance. So, the definition for the transformer you can uh, uh, define it as a electrical power transformer is a static device which transforms electrical energy from one circuit to another without any direct electrical connection and with the help of mutual induction between two windings. It transforms power from one circuit to another without changing its frequency but may be in different voltage level. That already we have discussed, we can change the voltage, either we can change the voltage, we can increase the voltage or we can decrease the voltage. But if there is no changes in the frequency. Whatever you are applying at the input side as a AC will be getting as the same frequency and the AC signal but with the different voltage. So, but there is no uh, physical connection between the two sides. So, we, uh, here we can see two coils, one is primary coil, that primary coil is always connected to the AC supply. And second one, secondary coil. So, between primary and secondary coil, there is no any connection. But due to the electromagnetic induction or mutual induction, EMF is generated at the output side. So, input uh, uh, is alternating voltage. Due to the alternating voltage, alternating current goes through the primary winding. So what will happen? So because of the alternating current, alternating flux generated across the primary coil. 
that alternate reflux also leads to secondary form either in the air or some type of pore materials are used to link the flux generated from the primary to the secondary part. And even the secondary coil with the alternating flux changes due to that according to Faraday's law whenever the flux linking with the conductor changes EMF induced in the form. So according to the Faraday's law electromagnetic induction due to the changes in the magnetic flux EMF generated across the secondary coil. If the secondary coil is connected to the external load, what will happen? Current flows through the external load and that generates the voltage across the load. So this is the concept of the transformer or working principle of operation, principle of operation of transformer. So you can see here primary coil, secondary coil, we can change the number of turns based on the number of turns we will get the output voltage that we will study later. So here it is based on principle of mutual induction according to which an EMF is induced in a coil when current in the neighboring coil changes. So already we have studied in single phase AC circuit there are while inducing the EMF across any coil, there are two types of one is dynamically induced EMF, another one is statically induced EMF. Dynamically induced EMF means either the coil or magnetic field should be in motion. But statically induced EMF, there is no need of physical moment either the coil or magnet but because of the alternating supply alternating flux generated across the coil and due to that according to the Faraday's law EMF generated. So example for statically induced EMF is transformer. That's why transformer is a static device. So because of the supply source which used as a uh, alternating one because of that alternating EMF generated or we can say alternating flux generated due to the alternating flux EMF generated across the transformer. That is a working principle of transformer. So it depends upon Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Actually mutual induction between two or more winding is responsible for transformation action in an electrical transform. Whenever we apply alternating current to an electric coil, there will be an alternating flux surrounding that coil. If we bring another coil near the first one, there will be an alternating flux linkage with that second coil. As the flux is alternating, there will be a rate of change in flux linkage with the respect to time in the second coil. As per Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, an EMF will be induced in a. This is the working principle of transformer. So here, as flux is alternating, there will be a rate of change in flux linkage with respect to time in the second coil. As per Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, an EMF will be induced. So, uh, you might have seen the transformer, what are the different parts in the transformer. So, transformer, uh, it, it has some iron part, it is called it as a core. On core, either the two limbs or central lip winding surface. So, both windings, one is primary winding, other one secondary winding. Primary winding is the winding one in which, one which, which is connected to the supply. 
voltage source and secondary winding is the winding one which connected to the load part so it has three main parts in a transformer one is primary winding secondary winding and one more magnetic core so primary winding which is connected to the electrical source magnetic core where magnetic flux produced by the primary winding that will pass through this low reluctance path linked with the secondary winding to create a closed magnetic circuit. And secondary winding, the flux produced by primary winding passes through the core and will link with the secondary winding. This winding also winds on the same core and gives the desired output of the transformer. So this is the diagram of the transformer. Uh, so left side, the winding is primary winding, which is which should be connected to the supply. Second, right side is a secondary winding that will be connected to the load part. And the central then core or something metal part is called as a core. So whatever the flux length is generated in the primary winding, which moves or which flows through the core of the transformer and which links with the secondary winding. What are the types of transformers? So there are two types of transformers. One is core type, another one is shell type. So core type windings, both primary as well as secondary windings are placed on the two Limbs, right and left limbs. So there are two layers when it's high voltage insulation winding, high voltage winding, and low voltage winding. But in the shell type, instead of winding at the two left and right limbs, here windings are placed in the center of the high voltage as well as low voltage winding. So what are the uh, why this is used? Here, core type windings are cylindrical form mounted on the core limbs. Here, cylindrical coils have different layers. Each layer is insulated from each other. Materials like paper, cloth or mica can be used for insulation. And whenever we apply alternating current to an electric coil, there will be an alternating flux surrounding that coil. If you bring another coil near, so, so this is a sectional view. We can see here uh, core type construction, the flux is, has a single path. Single path the flux flows in the core, but in the shell type, the flux has two parts. So at the center, it is twice of the flux of the two limbs. So at the center, flux is five. So the two limbs, the flux will be divided by two, five by two, five by two. What are the types of transformers? So there are two types of transformers. One is core type, another one is shell type. So core type windings, both primary as well as secondary windings are placed on the two limbs, right and left limbs. So there are two layers, when it's high voltage insulation winding, high voltage winding and low voltage winding. But in the shell type, instead of winding at the two left and right limbs, here windings are placed in the center of the limb. High voltage as well as low voltage winding. So what are the...
So what is the working of a transformer? So how, what, what is the relationship between number of turns, voltage, what is the current, everything is represented here. In the uh, diagram, you can see in the primary winding, which is connected to the supply voltage V1, because of the V1, EMF is available across the primary winding, that is due to the electromagnetic induction. So when V1 alternating source is applied across the primary winding, alternating current flows through the primary winding, so which generates the alternative flux around the coil. So whenever there is a changes in the flux due to the alternating flux according to electromagnetic induction, EMF generated across the primary winding, that is E1. But the flux path is provided by the core of the transformer. So flux, whatever generated in the primary, also links with the secondary coil. So primary winding has number of turns N1, secondary coil has number of turns N2. So due to the same alternating flux linking with the secondary winding also, what will happen? There is a EMF generated across the secondary winding E2. Due to that E2, current flows through the, whenever the output load is connected to the secondary winding, that current will flow through the I2, secondary current flows through the load. And V2 is the voltage available across the load, load due to the I2 current. So, this is the, uh, whatever the notation given in the transformer. V1 is the applied voltage, V2 is the avail voltage available across the load. E1 and E2 are the generated induced EMF across primary and secondary winding respectively. I1 and I2 are the currents through the primary winding and secondary winding. So here uh, already we have discussed when current in the primary coil changes being alternating in nature, changing magnetic field is produced. This changing magnetic field gets associated with the secondary through the soft time code. Hence, magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil changes, which induces EMF in the secondary. So, let us see what is that. What, what, what do you mean by transformer? It transfers electric power from one circuit to another circuit. It does so without any changes of frequency. It accomplishes this by electromagnetic induction and where the two electric circuits are mutually, mutual inductive influence of each other. So it is an AC device. Transformer is an AC device which transfers the electric energy, electric power from one circuit to the another circuit. We say uh, it is a primary circuit to the secondary circuit without any changes in the frequency. So why the transformers are used? Where it is used? So transformer, you might have seen in the uh, supply, electric supply, the, um, like uh, to transfer the power or to distribute the power from transformer to the uh, houses. So here there are different applications. In few application, like uh, in the distribution system, the power it is in the uh, form of 11 kV or uh, in the kV voltage will be dropped into the 230 volt for the domestic purposes. In that case, uh, like we want less output voltage at the secondary side or output to side. So that will be uh, what type of transformers are used for uh, decrease the voltage. It is a step down transformer. What is step up? In some application, you want to increase the voltage at the output center, at the lower side. Then we have to increase the voltage from primary to the secondary center. So, in that case, also in terms of current, we can write the transformation ratio. Here, power input to the primary winding is equal to power output from the secondary winding in the case of ideal transformer. So you can write power is equal to voltage into current. 
So E1 and E1 is equal to E2 into I2. So if you divide E2 by E1 is equal to I1 by I2, that is equal to K. So how will you relate the transformation ratio with the voltage, current and number of terms? E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1 is equal to I1 by I2. So this is the, what is the transformation ratio? So voltage is directly proportional to number of terms but inversely proportional to current through that coil. Okay, E2 directly proportional to N2 but inversely proportional to I2. So this is the transformation ratio or relationship between the voltage, current and number term. So, uh, you might have seen the transformer. What are the different parts in the transformer? So, transformer, uh, it, it has some iron part. It is called it as a core. On core, either the two limbs or central lip windings are placed. So, both windings. One is primary winding, other one secondary winding. Primary winding is the winding one in which on which, which is connected to the supply voltage source. And secondary winding is the winding one which connected to the load part. So, it has three main parts in a transformer. One is primary winding. So, you will be getting E1 is equal to N1 omega phi m sin omega t minus pi by 2. So, what do we want? We want only the RMS value of the EMF. So, to get the RMS, we have only equation. So, from the equation, we need to take the maximum value of the EMF divided by root 2, you will get the ERMS. So, what is the maximum value parameter? It is N1 omega phi m. So, N1 omega phi m divided by root 2 is the ERMS, E1 RMS. So, omega you can write in terms of 2 pi f. So, 2 pi f n1 pi m divided by root 2, you will get E1 RMS. So, it is 4.44 f n1 pi m. That is the maximum, sorry, RMS value of the induced EMF in the primary winding. So, similarly, what is the EMF induced in the secondary? So, E2 is equal to through 2 pi F N2 phi M divided by root 2. So, you will be getting 4.44 F N2 phi M. So, these are the two equation E1, E2, EMF equation of the transformer. So, this is a sectional view. We can see here uh, core type construction. The flux is, has a single path. Single path, the flux flows in the core. But in the shim type, the flux has two paths. So, at the center, it is twice of the flux of the two limbs. So, at the center, flux is 5. So, the two limbs, the flux will be divided by 2, 5 by 2, 5 by 2.
so let us see what is that what, what, what do you mean by transformer it transfers electric power from one circuit to another circuit it does so without any changes of frequency it accomplishes this by electromagnetic induction and where the two electric circuits are in mutually mutual inductive influence of each other so it is a ac device transformer is a ac device which transfers the electric energy electric power from one circuit to the other circuit we say uh, it is a primary circuit to the secondary circuit without any changes in the frequency so why the transformers are used where it is used so transformer you might have seen in the uh, supply electric supply the um, like uh, to transfer the power or to distribute the power from transformer to the uh, houses so here there are different applications in few application like uh, in the distribution system the power it is in the uh, form of 11 kv or uh, in the kv voltage will be dropped into the 330 volt for the domestic purposes in that case uh, like we want less output voltage at the secondary side or output to side so that will be uh, what type of transformers are used for uh, decrease the voltage it is a step down transformer what is step up in some application you want to increase the voltage at the output side at the low side then we have to increase the voltage from primary to the secondary side so in that case it is called it as a step up transformer so there are two types of transformer step down and step up transformer but the working principle based on the mutual inductance so history is last due to the reversal of magnetization in that transformer core this loss depends upon the volume grade of iron frequency of the magnetic reversal and value of flux density so it is given by equation m its stress is constant b maximum to the power 1.6 f into v f is the frequency of magnetic reversal v is the volume of the core V maximum maximum flux density. So it is represented in terms of. Uh, so the definition for the transformer you can uh, uh, define it as a electrical power transformer is a static device which transforms electrical energy from one circuit to another without any direct electrical connection. and with the help of mutual induction between two wires it transforms power from one circuit to another without changing its frequency but may be in different voltage level that already we have discussed we can change the voltage either we can change the voltage or we can increase the voltage or we can decrease the voltage but if there is no changes in the frequency whatever you are applying at the input side as a ac will be getting as a same frequency and the ac signal but with the different voltage so but there is no uh, physical connection between the two so it is written it this is given in the form of k e b max square f square v t square k e is the current flux constant t is the thickness of the lamination v volume of the core b maximum maximum value of the flux density f is the frequency of the magnetic reversal so it, how can we reduce the eddy current loss and resistance is not eddy current loss can be reduced by laminating the core so many small thin layers are placed in the core of the transformer 
and all these layers are stacked together to form the steel core. So due to this lamination, eddy current loss can be largely can be can be reduced. So the second main type of losses in the transformer is copper loss. This is mainly due to the electrical resistance of the primary and secondary windings. So most transformer coils are made from the copper wire which has a resistance. This resistance opposes the magnetizing current flowing through the air. When a load is connected to the transformer or secondary winding, large electrical current flows in the both the primary and secondary winding. Electrical and power losses occur as heat. So it is represented in the representing as a heat or power I square R. So primary winding and secondary winding has practically had some resistance. Due to that resistance, whenever the current flows through that resistance, power loss takes place I square into R. That itself is the copper loss. So copper loss it depends on the load current. If you increase the load, load current increases. As load current increases, copper loss also increases. So if the zero load applied across the secondary part, zero current flows, zero copper loss. So copper loss is a dependent source, variable source. It, vary, it varies along with the load. But iron loss or core loss is a constant loss because it depends only on the supply voltage other all parameter volume of the core thickness of the core flux density frequency everything is constant only depends on the supply voltage but supply voltage we never change we never change during the application so input voltage also constant parameter so iron loss or core loss is a constant loss the second one copper loss is a variable loss. So let us see what is that. What, what, what do you mean by transformer? It transfers electric power from one circuit to 